Um, I think for us, it was kind of strange because it was by far the biggest thing that we'd done in our career. Um, and it was amazing, but it was over and like, it felt like it went in about 10 seconds. Mm -hmm. um, so it was, it was so strange because we were like in this little tunnel and then came out to this massive, like massive arena of yeah, big place of, that just like erupted. And then we went back into this little tunnel and it just seemed to go so quick, but it was amazing. It was, it was an honor to be involved in that. I think everyone who was kind of involved were, it was all like legends and stuff, wasn't it? So it was, it was nice for us to be involved in that. Yeah, no, it was really good. It's yeah, yeah, yeah. Christian, yeah, yeah, I was about to. Um, now going to the VMAs was was a lot of fun. You know, it's such a like a prestigious event and stuff. And you know, it's something we've watched on TV for years. To, so to actually be sat there in that situation was was incredible. And you see like the the amount of like superstars that were in there was amazing. So it was nice to to be sat there and and to perform and to be nominated as well. And to win. And to win, yeah, as well that too. I think in terms of, you know, how our relationships have developed, I think we kind of understand each other's boundaries a lot more now, like in terms of, you know, we understand, you know, if somebody's a bit tired not to annoy them or, you know, if somebody's a bit upset, like, you know, you might need to speak to them or whatever, but it's like, yeah, we, I think we just have a, a, a lot more level of, levels of understanding amongst us now, definitely. I think... Yeah, in terms of how we make sure that we stay friends is, I think we kind of built the relationship the right way. I think when we first got put together, um, we had this time where we had like a week together to practice. And I think we sang probably in total for like an hour. I think the rest yeah. of the time we played football and we just kind of ran around, watched films. And that was kind of it. I think we, you know, we made sure that we became friends first before we started trying to be like, working together. I think that, I think that helped for, for how we're still friends. I think um, when it comes down to like friendships like, like this, it either works or it doesn't, I mm -hmm. think. And we're just lucky that we all do get on really well and that we don't have to work at it as such. It's just natural. Like a flower. Yeah, we're, we're, coming, into, we're coming into winter now, so I think the autumnal colours are coming out. As you can see with the Ron Burgundy there, yeah. and um, you know the the darker jeans. <coughs> Mr. Grey. We're, we're going from summer into winter, so we're taking that turn. Mm. Yeah, oh, I just do. like wearing t-shirts. I think everyone's yeah. everyone's kind of style is like <laughs> properly like, like coming this. through now. I think you can really tell, you know, the individual kind of style things that we've got going on. You know, like Niall's really like casual, just like cool, chilled out. Liam just is quite smart. Um, Harry just is quite preppy. Louis just cool surfer boy. Look, he's just always like pants rolled up. And I like to kind of add a bit of like a urban thing in there sometimes with a little bit of rockiness, which is weird because they're both completely opposite. But you know, what sort of fashion do you like on girls? I think. I, don't I know. love girls who wear like a dress and converse. Yeah, that's so sexy. That. Yeah. Okay, I think yeah. it's so hot. Yeah, it's yeah. just like really casual. Yeah. Uh, well, like a, like a dress today. Like I much prefer a girl in jeans and a t-shirt than I do. So in do I. Me too. Like, I'm the same. So do I. Cap girls in like, jeans and t-shirts. No, but like a slightly quirkier dress girl is much fitter, I think. Mm -hmm. Oof, get here.